right, so what we're playing with today, we got this fan motor here that goes inside of an ADC 100 dryer. It hooks on to this shaft right here on this particular motor. As you can see, this thing's seen better days. The little rubber bushing right there is burnt plumb up, and the motor is seized up because this thing's got bad bearings. They said that it was making the awfulest damn noise that they ever heard. They thought it was going to blow up, and essentially it was because the bearings are wore out on this thing. This is part number 8-168073-01 from the American Dryer Corporation, which is owned by Whirlpool. A lot of people might not know that made the USA. Problem is finding these damn motors, because you gotta go through this process, find yourself a local retailer, supplier, things like that, order it up. Luckily, I have one that I pulled off of a machine that I ended up junking, stripped it down for parts that we're gonna try to exchange, hook them up with here today. It's gonna save them a little bit of money. We're gonna get that hooked up for them. Now, this motor here, essentially mounts to this right here on the back side it goes through right there and then on the other sides where that fan blade hooks in at and then we mount the whole thing to this dryer but the dryer's got more problems than just the fan blade so we're going to fix everything while we're here and this is on the back of the dryer that whole box mounts up right here which goes to the inside where the lint trap and all that stuff is here's this motor which runs up to the bottom pulley which runs up to the top pulley which runs to the tub now this is supposed to have tension on it it's got two fasteners up here up top and that adjuster right there and it's supposed to have two fasteners on the bottom the problem is the whole motor is moving back and forth because the two fasteners on the bottom is rusted out as you can see right here we zoom it in for you right there you go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and loosen up those fasteners here, pull these belts off, pull that motor off. I'm going to be drilling two brand new holes through where the old studs was at, adding two brand new studs to it. Go ahead and fix that, put new fasteners and studs on it. We're going to hook up that motor, put this fan back together, see if we can get this thing working again for them. Got one belt loose. Take it, turn it. There we go. We're putting our little hyper tough adjustable wrench here to use. You want to see the tool reviews on these things? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. coming up. But as always, if you want to see tools in action doing real world repairs, pop the clutch on that subscribe button. All right, we got some nice new studs in here. Got those two studs up there. We're going to remount this motor. Right there is where the vent goes, the lint trap. This fan sucks everything, goes through the pipe goes out the roof right there it's Burke 3 8 roto ratchet i'll tell you what this has been a damn good tool for the price well worth buying i do recommend it you know it's not going to take a whole lot of torque or anything but as far as doing practical specialty stuff it's great it does have a tool that makes life so much easier and yes i do use this in industrial applications as you can see putting on motors real tools in action right here This is doing real world repairs on industrial machines. You want results, not excuses? Go subscribe to the Backwoods Mechanic channel. All right, so we finally got us an extra motor here that I pulled off of another dryer. So I'm going to take this, got us a new key for it, some new bolts for it. Ordered us a new fastener to put on the fan blade. We're going to get all this put together, see if we get it working. Got to go through this. Now we get all these little fasteners in place here. Get everything good and adjusted. Got a center rear shaft up. And of course we'll tighten everything down on all sides. We'll get our fan blade 
through on there next. Now, we got this old rusty little shaft right here. We're gonna get it cleaned up a little bit. Now we're testing out the old Black & Decker for this type of work. Well, the old Black & Decker done pretty decent for the job here. See, every tool has a purpose. And we're gonna go ahead and get our key in place. And then this is the fan blade itself. Get everything nice and lined up here. Slap back and forth some. Well, now that's on there pretty good. So now all we gotta do is find us uh, some washers to put on here to hold it nice and secure. Put us two jam nuts on there and give her a go. This entire fan assembly, by the way, you can get the whole setup right here for about $1,800. And if you want just this motor, just this, it's going to run you at least 800 bucks. And that's to buy it, not counting shipping it from some of these stores out here. And, you know, me finding the used one, being able to, you know, hook them up with it, sell them to for a buck 50 plus doing the work, not too bad. The threads on this thing is reverse thread also. Instead of it going right, it goes left, counterclockwise. So, get this thing on here. Since this thing's a reverse thread, we're just going to go ahead and put us a ratchet on here. Get it good and ready. This one's the extendable Stanley. That way I can kind of get on it however I need to get on it. And uh, find the best way to do it. It's going to be about right here. Now i got to do is lock it into place. And now it is definitely ready for us to go ahead and put it on the dryer and try it out. So we're going to be coming in from behind right here, sticking it on there. It's got two different studs up top, two on the bottom. we got our fasteners right there to stick it in place. Right now well, we got it lined up, stuck inside our hole right here. A really tight spot. We're going to go ahead and put our fasteners on it. Try to get it pulled in, make sure everything's lined up, do any final adjustments if we need to, and then turn it on and uh, try it out. Before we wire it up, we're gonna crawl underneath the lint trap here on this big old beast. We're gonna make sure that nothing's dragging. There we go. Now we can go plug her up and see how well it runs. All right, so here's our wires right here. Got a number four, which is actually number one. And then number two, number three, along with one, two, three here. Alrighty, so I got the wires one, two, and three hooked up. Now time to turn power on, test her out. Ta-da! And it's running. 